So there are a number of things that we found with this paper that are important. Probably the most important from my perspective is the fact that for kids or any athlete, we send them back out onto the field after the standard clinical tests return to baseline. But what the MRI shows is that there are still changes occurring in the brain uh, even after these clinical tests have returned to normal. And we're not entirely sure about what all these changes mean, but they certainly suggest that things are going on in the brain long after we've actually let the kids go back to play. And so this is potentially of some concern. Um, we'd like to understand this further to see if these are normal healthy changes or if they're indicative of something that might be going wrong. So we looked at hockey players within 24 to 72 hours of their injury and then we followed up with them three months after their concussion. So in a normal clinical exam you would just get structural images of the brain. So you could see large changes um, in maybe bleeding in the brain or more serious injuries like that. For a mild traumatic brain injury we don't expect to see those changes and we actually confirmed that there were no changes in those anatomical images. And we could see these underlying changes in the white matter structure itself that's only um, accessible using this high field uh, strength and also these um, more sophisticated analytical me methods.